So I'm going to be checking out some Turbo Graphic stuff, um, but I'm, I have a whole bunch of ROMs loaded on. But I, I have the Turbo Graphics portion of my console set up right now. It's eleven o'clock, Korea, Eden. Name him as yes. All right, so this is Bloody Wolf on the Turbo Graphics. Never played it before, so let's go ahead and see what it's like. Oh shit. Oh, I like the death animations for sure. There are many hostages, assets, okay. Sweet. Guy kinda moves slow. There we go. I like how dramatic they are. When they get shot, they just Shit. God damn it, jump up there. These 3D isometric games make it make platform jumping difficult, don't they? The hell, dude. Jump up there. Jasim Al Belushi. Thanks for subscribing. What's up, Burton Ernie? How are you tonight? Decided I would stream a little bit, play some retro games. I have my Retro Freak hooked up pretty nicely with all sorts of games, so I'm checking out some games I've never seen in my life. Come on. Oh, shit. Nightcore Hitman donated $2. Cheers. Thank you, Nightcore Hitman. If you have a video game request, I'd be happy to, uh, to play it in for you. I have... Oh, I could just climb up the side of the goddamn fucking truck. So I have Turbo Graphics, Game Boy, NES, Super Nintendo, Master System, Game Gear, and uh, Sega Genesis on here. So I'm able to play games from uh, all those consoles. Right now I'm checking out this Turbo Graphics game. I'm I'm fairly new to like a lot of Turbo Graphics 16 shit. Like I'm not familiar at all. I have a Turbo Graphics and I have. Um, a good assortment of few card games for it, but honestly, I haven't checked out any, a lot of this stuff. Muscle emphasis tablets. Oh shit! And you could jump while on a motorcycle. That's that's pretty. That's pretty hilarious. I go inside the building while on the cycle. Can't play Genesis hacks if not the SS SNES MK game. Okay, I could play Mortal Kombat. I don't have any hacks, but I'll check Mortal Kombat. Thank you very much again for donating. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get uh, Mortal Kombat ready. So this is like, I guess, your standard military type of rescue game. Most of them are usually the same premise. You get some, some hostages and you rescue them. Shit, really? The music's pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if this even came out in the United States. I mean, it does have English language support, but I've, I've never heard of a Bloody Wolf. And that's what's really cool is that you know, everybody plays Genesis and Super Nintendo and NES and all that, so you, you for the most part, know what all these games are. But, you know, it's, it's always nice to have a system like the Turbo Graphics where you're not familiar at all with, with what the games are to play something that I've never played in my fucking life. That's 
already like what 30 years old so it's nice to check out so this is where I died last time holy crap look at all that wish I had like a grenade or something They got fucking grenades, but I don't. That ain't fair. Oh shit, boss fight. Shotgun man. What's up, the boss show? Hey, Ginyu, how's it going? The boss show says so hot. Make sure you get yourself a water and a little bit of a towel. Alright, please tell me I don't have to... Oh, good, thank god. So the... Hit detection in this game is pretty brutal. And also the, the isometric, 3D isometric look makes it pretty tough to... Uh, to gauge where I exactly go. Holy crap. Can I climb up the pole? Holy shit balls, really? Do I know Dan B? I do not. Mr. Adolf, how's it going, man? Let's try to see if I can beat this guy again. There we go. Looks like I wasn't engaging right. I have to go back and try the diamond dozen. Alright, one more game over and then uh, that's it for Bloody World. Not bad, I guess. It's a, it's a neat little TG16 PC Engine title. Alright, so we're going to move to another game that was